Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a vlog, and today's vlog is talking about sorting. So as you can see, my you're looking at my LEGO collection, and it is a mess. I have parts everywhere, bins everywhere, pieces everywhere, more parts, more bins, more bins. You're, it's just a mess. So basically, more recently, I have added these two storage carts to my LEGO room. This one I had for years, and I actually wanted to buy a couple of them right as I was really getting into YouTube and LEGO back in 2012. And when I started sorting my collection that year, I wanted to get a bunch of these to store my pieces in them. But unfortunately, I had one for other things, and they were actually sold out, and the place where I bought them did no longer sell them because they were older now. But... There are people like places like Michaels and stuff like that. They actually still sold them, but their prices were sixty dollars more than the place where I could buy them. So I never ended up get ended up getting any. Recently, I actually just took these from my other where else I had them because I wasn't really using them. So I put them in a couple other bins and brought these ones up because I knew I'd use them a lot more. And then more recently, actually in Michaels, I was buying some testers paints. That's what I was in there for. And just as we were leaving, they had this at the very front of the store in a clearance section for uh, $25, I think, which is a really good deal. Uh, it was $25 off, like it was $25, and the regular price was $80, and it was just because it was a floor model. So I actually used these to sort my bricks, like, like just bricks, white bricks yellow bricks, green bricks, that's what, I, like, it's just bricks, just normal bricks. And then, now I've started sorting these into pieces I use the most, and I've actually taken a couple advent calendar trays, I've just had to trim the edges here just to get them to fit in these bins, and they fit really, really well, and I really like them because they sort the pieces very well. I'm only using two of them for now. I have, like, five of them. I think I have like five of them down there so like two three now two up here so I have a lot of them and I'm really just putting more parts in here that I use quite often just so I don't have to go get a bin and I actually replaced all my inventory with these boxes but I'm changing that again because I'm going back to these bins which I use for my inventory since 2012 until I recently put these bins in and then when I took all the bricks out of those boxes I put them all in this drawer, I moved all the boxes from up there, now I display stuff there, put them down there. But instead, I'm putting the boxes underneath the desk now for BrickLink inventory and putting the bins back on the shelves. And the new thing I'm doing, I actually have two st stack-ons, two over here. One is for custom inventory, such as the customs that I make to sell, and items like that. Here are the cell phones. And then now, and this is minifigure parts. So all my minifigure parts are actually sorted into these containers. And it just works so much better than having several different containers. Like here in the bottom, I have sig figs and heads. So they work well. And I'm knocking stuff off my desk. <laughs> Lots of noise. Here, actually, I have, these are all circle parts. So like circular bricks, pieces. Anything that's like really circle goes in these containers and anything with slopes go in these containers. But I'm really sick of the fact that they all stack and I have to take the lid off every time. Plus they're just not really sturdy containers because they are homemade. So actually what I'm doing is I'm moving them all up to here, to this storage container that I have on the wall. Because I figured, because the struggle with, was I could, ne I'm not tall enough because this it does go up so high these containers. And I'm not tall enough to like see all the parts, and I didn't have them labeled, so I was really tr a struggle trying to look. I was spending a lot more time wasting time, and I was gonna label it, but then I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it, so I didn't label it. But now that I've decided I'm not gonna keep it, I, it works. So on this side, it's gonna be either circle pieces or slopes, and then the other side's gonna be the opposite, depending on which side is which. And it's just gonna be easier because I know like that whole side's either slopes or, and I'm gonna have it all labeled, and it's gonna be good. Tiles are going to stay here, plates are going to stay here, and then I'm going to make some nice labels for all these drawers. Right now they're just temporary so I don't have to keep wasting time when building trying to look for these pieces. 
So thank you all for watching this vlog, talking about me sorting Lego pieces. And if you're wondering, is this your whole collection? No. I have all these pieces. All these pieces. Like, I have all those pieces unopened. All these sets to review. Like, so that is just a very... It's probably... I wouldn't even say half the Lego pieces that I own because I actually have this. This has still got a lot of bricks from the brick box in it. And this thing right up there, that's all bricks in my collection that I don't, I have to sort. I also have those two bins still probably half full each of combined mega blocks because I haven't sorted them out yet and actual Lego pieces. I had that bin to sort. I had that bin of Duplo. And then I have two, three bins down here of uh, used pieces that I'm adding to my collection. I've been there, been there, and a whole shoebox there. So I have a lot of pieces that I need to have sorting. So this is actually just the sorted pieces, but I'm still sorting the sorted pieces. Thank you guys all for watching this sorting vlog. Stay tuned for probably a second one because it's not going to be done today. It might, it might not be done this week. So stay tuned. Thanks you all for watching. Have a great day.